This is the GAC Weekly presented by the Great American Conference. I'm Joey McWilliams. Welcome to a new year of GAC Weeklies and welcome to the new home of the GAC Weekly. It's the MidwestSports.net YouTube channel and we invite you to like and to subscribe and just uh, be along with us for the ride. Lots more content on the way, the Great American Conference and beyond. But we're speaking GAC Weekly today and it is a privilege now to have on the GAC Weekly I believe for the first time on the GAC Weekly, the Assistant Athletic Director for Sports Information at Harding University, Scott Good. Scott, I know we've done a lot of things together over the course of the, the last six, seven, eight years uh, in my time getting to work with the GAC, but I think this is your first GAC Weekly. I think this is my, my debut appearance on the show. All right. <laughs> We're glad to have you on here. Scott, by the way, also, also and always – uh, gets me the hookup with all of the folks at Harding University in the athletic department from uh, the athletic director, Jeff Morgan, through all the coaches, the athletes, and everyone there. And I'm really appreciative to all of your help, Scott, for all that you do, not only for me, but seriously, you're just one of the good guys in the league and, and one of the good guys all the way around. You do your job well. Folks, you'll be hard-pressed to find a sports information director uh, that uh, does any better uh, then Scott Good and is any more of a nice guy. But enough about him. Let's talk about Harding. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, I appreciate the kind words. But yeah, it makes me very uncomfortable. So let's move on to something else. Well, I wanted to get them in at the beginning of the broadcast. So, you know, it's one of those things. If, if people don't stick around to the end, they, they, they would miss that part. So we need to get that done now. The reason that we're talking Harding University is that for the 2018-2019 athletic year harding won the great american conference all sports trophy it's the second time in the last three years for the bisons to win the win the award talk about what that means scott for the university well it's a obviously a point of pride for uh you know our teams and you know we kind of we in our coaches meeting at the beginning of the year we you know we joke about it a little bit that you know we uh that's one of our goals at the end of the season is to is to uh have won the all sports trophy and the the coaches you know they none of them wanted to come down to them as you know if they if they're under pressure to to win you know whatever game at the end <laughs> of the year that you know they all give each other a hard time that the ones we haven't won in the past was because you know so and so didn't win a game back in November or something like that so uh, they, our, our coaches really have a good time with it. And, and, uh, it was, uh, you know, this season we, we got off such a great start in the fall, uh, that, um, we, uh, you know, we carried that through, uh, all the way throughout the year and really just had, uh, consistent performances from all of our teams. You had a record 95 points overall, and in, in the point structure is how things are compiled to uh, come about with this particular award, and won by league record 14.5 points over Southern Arkansas, Harding with 95 points, Southern Arkansas 80.5, don't forget Oklahoma Baptist 80 points even, and uh, those are two very strong programs as well, Scott, but uh, uh, winning in volleyball, the League title in volleyball, also winning the league title in women's track and field, and then second place finishes in women's cross country and in football. Yeah, I, I think we we were in the top three in seven sports, and and out of out of thirteen, that that really gives you a good a uh, good point total. We've got we have eighteen sports total here at Harding, and thirteen of them count in the all sports trophy uh, standings, and uh, so uh, it's it is helpful that we have all thir you know, we do field all 13 sports that, uh, that compete in the, in the, in the standings. And so, uh, we're, we're going to get at least a few points in, in <laughs> every sport each year. So, uh, that goes a long way towards, uh, but the, the 95 points is, uh, like, like I said, uh, our, our coaches and the athletes, uh, our student athletes did a, did a great job this, this season just, um, with outstanding performances all the way. Uh, really across the board. We had some sports that don't get a whole lot of um, publicity. Our, our women's golf team, you know, picked up five points this year, uh, finished in fifth place in the, in the, in the conference tournament, which is their best showing in, in a lot of years. Uh, and so um, just uh, con contributions from, from really from all over the place. And uh, that, I guess that's what, that's what leads to, 
you know, scoring 95 points in the standings. <laughs> it does. And and that that's a point that I did want to, to talk about is as you all at Harding, Oklahoma Baptist, uh, I believe the only two teams that right. that have uh, competition in all 13 of those sports, so that, that does go a long way. But then winning some as well. I, I want to sure. go back to one in particular, and this takes us back a few okay. months as here we are at the start of July, and I want to go back to one of the fall sports too. You won two league championships, but one of the big ones really, uh, and this is one of those higher profile sports, and that's volleyball. Volleyball, you pick up the 12 points there as, as there were all 12 teams in the conference that, that, that compete in volleyball. Go on right. and then actually win a match in the NCAA tournament. And, and in the <laughs> central region, that is just an amazing thing. I don't think we talked yeah. about that en- enough. I know that coming into volleyball season now, we need to talk about it a little bit before. But, but before we wind down this time, Scott, uh, right. that, that needs to be addressed too. That, that was big. And then going to yeah. Nebraska Kearney uh, and playing against Kearney, a team that had won like I think a million straight matches <laughs> on their home court, <laughs> and then picking True. up that win, yes. that was a big yeah. deal. Yeah, it, it really was. It definitely one of the highlights of of our athletic season. Um, Coach Fear uh, Meredith uh, and her husband Robert do a great job with uh, with our our players, and we had a very senior laden team this year. Um, we're going to miss so many of those, uh, so many of those ladies that, uh, they were outstanding athletes and the team GPA was 3.7 something and a bunch of them are majoring in things that I can barely pronounce. And, you know, they, <laughs> they, uh, they just did a, an outstanding job. And, you know, I, I've been here, I think I'm going into year number 21 if my math is correct. And so you are getting um, a little older. I, I really am. Um, <laughs> and so I, I remember kind of when the volleyball program in the early 2000s um, was uh, was going to the NCAA tournament each year and uh, just, you know, ran into some of these teams that you hear about who have won 50, 60, 70 straight home matches. And, and that's who we were, you know, that's who we were running into. And uh, and so I, I think we went four years in a row. It seems like Coach Fear went at least, uh, a couple of times as a player when she was when she was here, uh, but for us to get to the you know to, to win the conference to win the conference tournament make it to the regional and then you know you go play Nebraska Kearney which you know everybody if you're a volleyball fan in the United States you know how big volleyball is in Nebraska with the University of Nebraska mm-hmm. and then Nebraska Kearney and the other uh, I think there were two thousand something fans at the <laughs> at the game so yeah. So it was. Uh, I would say that the deck was stacked against us, and uh, for the for the ladies to go out there and get a win over uh, Nebraska Kearney, definitely a highlight of the sports year here at Harding. You know, then we a- after you beat Nebraska Kearney, you get Concordia St. Paul that's <laughs> won. You know, how many national championships? Exactly. So, uh, and we we got to set off of them. So you know, that's that's a moral victory, but. Um, yeah, it was it was a really fun season. You know, the the football team uh, getting to go to the playoffs. You know, again, and and uh, that's that's always a lot of fun. Uh, women's cross country finished second, um, and mm-hmm. you know the women's track and field winning the championship. Softball had a great year. Baseball made it to the last day of the of the tournament. So. Uh, I'm probably leaving somebody out that was that was real. Women's basketball had a, had another great year, and so it was. It really was. It's it's a lot of fun, and it's always more fun when you win. I tell people that a lot. That uh, in the sports information office, if uh, if your if your teams are winning, it's a lot more work, but it's also a lot more fun. Right. Well, you've had a lot of fun then in recent yeah. years because uh, and a hard, lot of work and a lot a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> but but you do it well. You really do it I well. I appreciate and, that. And and yeah. I mean that not just because you're on the phone right now, but uh, if if yeah. you're a Harding Athletics fan, then the last two or three years, uh, it's it's yeah. really been a joy to to get to follow the Bisons along. And if you do follow the Bisons yeah. along then you yeah. know that you're going to get good coverage from Scott and from Nathan and, and all yeah. the staff there. Uh, you know, Billy Morgan on the call of all those games. Right. So uh, you guys yeah. have a, a lot of good things uh, to be excited about. And then, of course, uh, as we wrap up this time here, of course, I'm speaking with the Harding Assistant Athletic Director for Sports Information, Scott Good. I mean, it's mm-hmm. time to start talking about volleyball again. 
and it's time to start talking yeah, yeah. about football. I think that's just year round anyway. And is there ever a bad time to be talking about football? I don't think so. And of course, uh, the Bisons uh, <laughs> no. just continue to roll on the football field as well. Yeah. Well, we're super excited. Our their, our indoor facility that uh, Coach Simmons is very uh, enthusiastic to talk about um, is is nearing completion. Uh, I think. Uh, within a week or so, they'll start laying the turf on the inside of that thing. It's 140 yards long. I, I went in. I went inside yesterday for the first time, and uh, it is. I mean, it's just an awesome facility that's going to be great for our our fans and our players and our alumni and mm-hmm. uh, all the different things that can happen in there. So, um, and doesn't yeah, have that, the, doesn't that have Coach uh, Huckabee's name on it? It is. It's the Huckabee Fieldhouse, and uh, so we're. I mean. Coach Huckabee is is one of my you know heroes in life, and uh, so uh, for his name to be on there, that's pretty awesome. And uh, you know he's one of the most beloved people ever on our campus, so uh, it's it's fitting that he gets you know that 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 will be that will be named after him. And a lot of the stuff on the inside will uh, will have will tell his story about uh, his time at Harding. So uh, we look forward to, to that coming to completion. All right. Well, congratulations again to Harding, to the Bisons for a fantastic year, second in three years, second time to win the Great American Conference All-Sports Trophy. And thanks again to Scott Goode for spending some time with us today. We really appreciate that. Sure, Joey. And I really appreciate all the work that you do on the show. Uh, Well, thank you very much. This has been the GAC Weekly. And the GAC Weekly, don't forget, is presented by the Great American Conference. To hear more about this and other college and high school sports, please be sure and visit oklomasports.net, visit arkansasports.net, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. We would appreciate your subscription. There's going to be a lot, again, of content here in this athletic year just getting started in 2019-2020. So please subscribe to the channel, midwestsports.net. In the meantime, thanks again to Scott Goode, and this has been the GAC Weekly. God bless you, everybody, and have a great one.